day Nigeria wakes up, Africa will never be the same again. video I'm usually known for doing lifestyle videos or vlogs or makeup or something along those lines but today will be a little bit different um, I think it would just be weird I'm very awkward and I think someone used this word I like tone deaf for me to just come back on YouTube and post a vlog or post my apartment tour or post something that has nothing to do with what is actually going on right now um, as you all know or you may not know I'm Nigerian I tried to make that very clear in most of my videos I was raised in Nigeria most of my life and I don't know if you guys have been seeing the news but just in case we still have some people that have not been opportune to watch TV or not go on social media or you're just staying away from things I'm here to inform you on what's happening um, to let you know what's happening on the outside world people are being killed in my country back home um, people by the name of SARS put in place by the government SARS actually stands for special anti-robbery squad and what they're supposed to do is to actually protect the citizens from robbery protect the citizens from crime um that happen on the roadside or generally in the out and open right that's their job that's why they were put in place by the government but what exactly is happening or what has been happening over the last few years you're asking well our youth have been extorted our youth have been killed raped some of them locked up for crimes that they did not commit simply because of how they look simply because of the cars that they drive of the hairstyle on their head the haircut on their head having a mustache having a beard all those things have been used to judge our youth if you have an iphone yes if you own an iphone and you are caught on site by stars you will be stopped and searched god help you that you have zoom on your phone or that you have documentation of any other country on your phone you are immediately thought to be a scammer or to be an arm robber or to be someone that has no way of earning such amount of money at your age basically that is the mentality that these people have um people were saying you know um most people are not speaking up because they don't understand what's happening they, they've never been in those shoes before i personally am here to tell you that I, i've never personally experienced SARS, but i have experienced police brutality i think every nigerian that grew up in nigeria experienced police brutality but from what i've been hearing and from what i've seen the stories i've heard SARS and the way they treat people back home is worse than what i experienced with the police so i cannot even imagine if it's worse than what the police were doing to us citizens what it would be like now it's one thing hearing about these things it's another experiencing it and i just want to say shout out to all those nigerians on the streets marching every day today is the ninth day i wish i could do more so what am i doing i'm posting on my social media i'm bringing about as much awareness as i can from my platform i'm not even to say that i have a big platform because i really don't but i cannot go to bed and wake up every day acting like i don't know what is happening back home that people are sharing their stories on twitter people are using that hashtag hashtag end size hashtag end swat SARS has been disbanded as of last week. Guess what? They were rebranded and renamed into a different unit known as SWAT. SWAT is what they are now being called. So think of it like this. You are literally taking off a name of a bad organization, a bad unit, and you are taking another name back on. Same personnel, same people, same uh, mentality, same equipment. Everything is the same. You are just taking the name, changing the name, and you are rebranding. I'm so proud of my generation. I'm so proud that I get to be a part of this generation, Generation Z. I don't know if millennials are part, but Generation Z, 
please correct me if I'm using the wrong generation in the comments. But I'm proud to be a part of a generation that says enough is enough. We are speaking up. We are no longer taking what is given to us by the Nigerian government. We are no longer just getting by. I want to dye my hair red without feeling like I cannot step outside on my streets and not get stopped and possibly killed. I want to be able to have tattoos on my body that might signify something. And even if it does not signify anything, I have a right to put whatever I want on my body. Peaceful protesting is what is happening. So far, we've lost 10 people. 10 people have died so far, and that's only people that are on record to have died for peaceful protests. Peaceful, they want somebody to kill somebody in America for peaceful protests. In America for peaceful protest. If you think about this, the reason for this violence and maltreatment from these people called stars and even from our police officers, because we are trying to end police brutality with this peaceful process that we are doing, is that they are underpaid. Where is all that money going, you may ask? I'm not validating that they are extorting from us youth, but I'm trying to understand where they are coming from. Where is this frustration coming from? They are underpaid. Our demand is actually stating that we want their salary to be increased. We want them to be compensated the right way. I said this on my Instagram. The police should be marching alongside us because we are truly fighting for them. If everybody is getting compensated the right way, there will be no reason for anybody to be extorted, for anybody to be tortured on the roadside. There will not be any reason for anybody to say, Oga, bros, anything for the boys. No! There won't be any reason for that because everybody is getting what they should be getting. There will be no reason for greed. So this really boils down to our leaders, who should be the ones serving us, our public servants, that should be serving its citizens. I want you guys to understand the frustration. If somebody like me that I live abroad, I live in Chicago, I'm not in Nigeria, understand the frustration and what is going through the minds of youth that live in Nigeria. I need you guys to understand why we are still talking about this matter, why we haven't dropped it like any other trend that, that trends for maybe a week. I need you to understand the drive. People's lives have been lost based on how they look, based on how they dress, what they own, their sexual orientation. People's lives have been lost in my country, Nigeria. All these lost lives, this violence that people have gone through, it cannot be in vain. It cannot be for nothing. We have to do it for them. We have to do it for Jimo. We have to do it for Chijioke, for Chika. We have to do it for Tina. We have to do it for Chima. We have to do it for Tony. We cannot, we cannot back down. We cannot lose guard. Yo, pray for my country. That's all. Pray for my country. And in any way that you can help, we will appreciate it. Any way that you can help. Be it hashtag end SWAT, hashtag end SARS, end police brutality in Nigeria. Any of those hashtags. Take a moment today and make a tweet on behalf of my country. Please do that. If you enjoy my content, if you enjoy what I put out on YouTube, please take them out of your day today and make a tweet about hashtag end SARS, hashtag end SWAT. That's all I have to say on the matter for now. To all my youth back home in Nigeria, we see you, we support you, we have your back right here. We are also doing our part. I know it's nothing compared to what you're doing, but we appreciate you and we know that this will not be in vain. Please check the description box for important information. Try and post the handles and social media of those people that are helping collect donations. Um, everything is appreciated. Feminist Co. has a few links. I know some of them were taken down, but I know there's a way around that. So I'll put that in the description box as well. Um, God bless you. Stay safe. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week.